the old member of the armed forces. But as any South African knows here at home, that word has become a term of endearment uh, between mates, allies and associates. Comrade is also the title of Botswana-born USA-based visual artist Meleko Mukhozi's latest exhibition, which opened at the Stevenson Gallery in Cape Town over a week ago. Now, to tell us more about the exhibition, we're joined by U.S. Boslan, who's one of the co-directors of Stevenson. He joins us from our Seapoint Studios. U.S., good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Let's talk about the significance of this title, Comrade. What is that? Um, I think for Maleko, it was interesting um, to do something very specific for this audience. It is the first time in 10 years he's shown in Southern Africa. And he really wanted to develop an exhibition that speaks to our local environment, our local context, and our local politics. And I think the word comrade, or comrades as the title of the exhibition, means something very, very different here in, in Cape Town or here in South Africa than it would in New York and, and in Los Angeles, where he's mostly been exhibiting. Mm -hmm. Now, the project titled Democratic Intuition, which is the umbrella under which the exhibition falls, what messages are you trying to communicate with it? Um, Meleko speaks of democratic intuition as a term introduced by uh, an academic called Gyatri Spivak. Um, it's really something where we see each other person as, as someone who can make choices, as someone who um, has agency politically. And he's trying to see how, how that concept has played out in southern Africa um, all the way from the first colonial encounter up to today. Mm -hmm. Now, this is your first show in, it's Muliko's first show in South Africa in over a decade. Why, why is she taking so long to uh, exhibit in South Africa? Um, well, he's, he's, he hasn't exhibited in South Africa um, before. He's exhibited in Botswana, uh, where he was born. Um, but his career and his education took him to the States. Um, he's married to an American wife. And his life has really played itself out in Los Angeles, in New York, um, where, he, where he's been studying and developing his practice. And I think, um, as anyone who's lived elsewhere in the world knows, if you come back home, you really want to get it right the first time. So I think he wanted to wait until he really knew exactly what he wanted to say to this audience. What for you was, is the highlight of this exhibition? Uh, for me, the highlight is really um, having seen how people are responding to the work um, and how that is different. He has introduced Setswana uh, text panels into the exhibition, and, um, which is something that in the States nobody would have access to. But even in Cape Town, there's not a lot of Setswana speaking people in the audience. So it is very um, um, heartwarming to see at the opening how Setswana speaking individuals would be translating to, to friends who didn't have access to the language and conveying the stories that, that Meleko is telling in the text panels that way. Um, and, and one sort of surprising moment that, that happened the week after, we had an um, Afrikaans art collector in the gallery and we saw him spending a lot of time um, oh. in, in the show reading the panels and we actually discovered that he grew up speaking Setswana as the lingua franca on his farm. Mm -hmm. So these expectations about what is accessible to which audience have really been turned on its head and, and sort of questioned um, during right. the show. All right, Joost, thank you so much for talking to us. Joost uh, Bosland speaking to us about the exhibition happening at the Stevenson Gallery in Cape Town by uh, Moleko. All right, let's say we, we need to say goodbye to our viewers while well, you're so busy uh, <laughs> occupied I'm with actually, other stuff. <laughs> I'm so busy. We're uh, obviously looking at tomorrow's book. It's called Tenders and right. the Fall of you're Limpopo welcome. by Selo Ladija. And we'll do this in our book slot tomorrow. It's really interesting. And it really just gives you a background of uh, the political issues yeah. uh, and the issues that's been happening in Limpopo. All right, we mm. will see you tomorrow morning. Playing us out is Babsi Mlangin from his latest album titled Bakai. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Ciao, ciao.